The first week of August 2024, we stayed at the Hanscom Air Force Base FAM Camp. It was a very hot and humid time, so we really appreciated being under the cover of the tall trees. If you're interested in coming here and want more details on this park, I'm putting a link in the description to a more complete video you might find helpful. Let me show you around a little bit. So behind the office, is a laundry room. We've got four washers and dryers. One of them is broken, but it'll be fixed soon. Really nice and clean. And right next door to the laundry room is this really nice room that you can hang out in. It's got sofas. There's a kitchen for the people who tent. You got microwaves and you put your stuff in the refrigerator. This table is usually full of a bunch of free stuff that you can take for free. Oh, here it is. It's a bunch of stuff that people leave here. And there's all kinds of pamphlets of things to do in the area and games for the kids and there are some tent sites out there it's really nice and then right here is the office and some bathrooms they're not open quite yet it's still early but when you get here they put your name on a chalkboard and tell you where to park. It's really nice. That's the bath and shower house. I haven't been in there. And another really nice thing is this little community area. I think I sat here a couple of times. Chairs, everybody can come and hang out in front of a fire. Really nice people here. Got to meet a few people. They also have a area for dry camping. If they are full and you need a spot to land, or I think you could even store your RV here. Well, behind the campground, there's a couple of trails, but it's obvious that they don't um, maintain the forest very well. And I'm just like 30 feet into the forest and I'm already getting swarmed by bugs and things. And it's really thick. This forest area is not very nice to wander around in. But maybe the bugs like it. I don't know. <laughs> oh, hello, bug. Just came across a sign. Hartwell Town Forest. So it looks like at one point these maybe were getting managed better. It sure is pretty out here. If it just weren't for all these bugs, it's probably just the humidity. It's been quite hot and humid, but not unbearable. And all that humidity makes these beautiful things grow. Oh, I just heard a gunshot or something probably on base and Daisy's like okay I want to go home now <laughs> little does she know she's going in the wrong direction <laughs> oh, Daisy if you're sensitive to loud noises it's important to note that it borders the base airport and some of the planes taking off can be very loud it wasn't a problem for me especially in the well insulated RV Daisy, however, wasn't a fan. She 
so afraid of the airplanes. As soon as she poops and pees, she's like, I want to go home. I want to go home. So I'm going to take her home and then go for my own walk. That's fine. <laughs> There's these wild turkeys just hanging out in town. They're huge. I've never seen anything like that before. Well, it's moving day and it's time to go again. It's always so bittersweet, um, but uh, it's been a really nice time. The only downside to being under the trees is I had pine needles all over the place. So I had to do a lot of cleaning before we left, but the shade was nice. So pros and cons of everything. Anyway, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video, which will be Bar Harbor, Maine. Mwah.